Hello. I have been putting off this video for the longest time because it just didn't feel right. So I just really didn't want to show an unfinished house tour. But I've recently accepted the fact that this house will never be finished. Like no matter how much stuff I put in it, I'm just gonna keep changing things around forever. There's never gonna be an end version of it. So I guess um, this is version 1 of this house. Just a disclaimer, it's really nothing special. And I guess this is the reality of moving out, living outside, having to buy everything by yourself. I'm not sure why I'm over explaining myself, but hey, this is V1 of the house. And yeah. Let's go! It's not fantastic. I know nothing about renovation. Everything I have now, I was inspired by people on Pinterest, on Xiaohongsu. Um, please don't come to me for renovation advice. I cannot give you any. Um, please go and look for Yiheng. Yiheng is great. I think we will start from the door. If you haven't seen or you just want to jog your memory of how the empty house used to look like, you can watch it over here. I'm also going to link it here. Um, but yeah, so this is my front door. I won't show you the outside, but we can start from here. Ta-da! It's very anticlimactic, right? Because my house is not very big and basically this is the entire house. Haha! <laughs> so once you once you enter the door, I have this sort of island table over here um, with this Japanese style partition going on. Like that. So over here, this is my kitchen. This is really underwhelming. How do people, how, how do I make this more interesting? So I had a lot of ideas for my kitchen um, and I gave my friend who was my ID a photo. So I'm gonna put the photo here for reference. So I said I want my kitchen to look exactly like this. And I think I think it did a really good job. It's really, it's almost exactly the same. I needed to have another sort of surface area which is why we got this um, island bar thingy. Yeah, under here we have three stools that nobody ever sits on because the height is a bit weird. But it's okay. Okay, let me turn on the light. So here is a close-up of the kitchen stuff. All my lights are yellow, so the video is gonna look quite yellow as well. Um, but I'll try and put some photos of it in natural light. The fridge. Clearly I'm not doing a great job, but you know, you all asked for this video. So over here, I have my pink microwave that my friends very kindly gifted me as a housewarming gift. I have my DeLonghi um, water kettle, it's the best thing ever. I have a steamer and I went for a ceramic stove thing. And also it's not cut into the kitchen top because I want to you know, have it portable. So sometimes if we have like hot pot parties or barbecue parties, I can then move this to the balcony. Um, yeah, cable management. It's okay, can be better. Sink stuff. Um, this is my snack corner and also my dish drainer area. Honestly, can be better, but I work with what I have now. So again, this is from IKEA. Um, the tong tong pan. Usually used in study rooms, but I have it in my kitchen because they came with all these um, bakul bakul and I thought it was very easy to just hold my stuff. Um, <laughs> here, we have snacks from Mix. Um, random stuff that I just keep over here. Not very aesthetically pleasing corner, but it works. So over here, um, I did nothing over here. This is my small tiny yard, which is now my washing area. So I have this little mini washing machine. I actually bought a, a real washing machine. It's coming in about two weeks. But in the meantime, this one works wonders. Yeah, it's a semi-manual thing. So I hook it up here. The water just goes in. It goes out the pipe there. Yeah. Um, it's very small. I can only wash like four or five pieces of clothing at a time. Oh, we also added this window. It wasn't here previously. So yeah, I'm getting a better washing machine soon. Not gonna show you things behind the door. They're just crap. So from this angle, this is what my living room looks like. This is my fridge, also Samsung. This table here, um, it's not actually part of the the Zhonghuang. But I got this table free from my office, so they were giving away old office tables and I said if I could have one, so I took one home and extended my island table, so I kind of have this little dining area. Again, this one moves around all the time, sometimes it's against that wall, sometimes I put it here to play mahjong. But it works, and it's free, so we keep it. These are my chairs that I just folded up because I was cleaning the room. So usually these chairs um, go over here and you have to walk really, really far and then you reach my living room, which is... So, <laughs> 
it's really I don't know how to make this interesting. Like, please forgive me. My house is very small. Okay. Um. Oops. TV still on. Let me turn that off before I get copyrighted. So from this view, let it look. <laughs> this is my living room. Um. It's very small. Um. It's quite cozy. I have yet to stick all these on the wall. Also because I don't really want to ruin the walls yet. This is one angle. I am posting nicer photos of this um, view on my Instagram. So if you want to see photos, you can go over there. There's a lot of stories I can tell you about this living room because everything has a story. It took me so long to get it to look just like this. Um, so if we start over here at this corner, this is my random things corner. So this is where my yoga mat lives. I have this buckle here for extra pillows for the sofa. Oh, that's another hula hoop thingy. I'm not sure uh, why I have this leaf here. It's just sitting there. Got this from IKEA also. So this is the best table that you can find in IKEA. I think it's only like, what, 40 bucks. Yeah, everybody has this. This is my sofa that I got from, I want to say, Ruma Home. Yeah, I think it's, I think it was from Ruma, but I went to somewhere really, really far away in KL to get this sofa. This is, I think, the closest sofa that I could find to my ideal sofa. Um, it looks very worn already because, you know, it's been sat on for eight months. But I, I needed to have a sofa with no feet. So like if you see this one, right, it sits flat on the ground. There are no like legs. Mainly because I didn't want to clean under my sofa. Um, yeah, like that. Um, these are my pillows. This is from... This is from Huga. This is from... I forgot, but you know pillows like this, right, with tassels? See, they came off already. Like two came off already. I don't know where's the other one. This pillow came with the sofa. Um, these are my paintings that I painted. This is my SP collection. Um, they are gonna live in this box until I find a better place for them. But for now, it works. This is one of my NFTs that I have. They sent me the real uh, physical version of it. Oh, battery is flashing. I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. Um, where was I? I got this table from Taobao. It's one of the best buys I got from Taobao. It's really just a normal white table, but it's really nice. So I, I also moved this table around, which is why again, I didn't opt to do many fittings with like renovation in zhuang. Yeah, I didn't want any fitted stuff. So I got a lot of loose furniture like this so I can move around because ever since I've moved in, I've already moved so many things around. So proven to be great for me. So here I have a little breakfast nook that I can eat my breakfast over here, enjoy the view that is that is out there. I have a love-hate relationship with these curtains over here. So they are really, really nice. The one on the outside, the outer layer over here, this is actually linen from, I'm not sure which European country, but I had to wait three months for these curtains. Um, this is called Snow... Snow something? Snow skin? Like Ping Pei at it. Yeah, so I had to wait really, really long for these curtains to arrive. So when I moved in, I had no curtains. And it was really, really hot. And the TV, as you can see now, got reflection ma. So without the curtains, it's even worse. But I guess, well worth the wait. They're very nice. Moving over here, this is really nothing lah. This is just a chair <laughs> that I have sitting here because there's nowhere else to sit. This is just my tufting, tufted uh, rug thing. It's a bit small, so it won't look good on the floor, but it does look good as a seat warmer cover thing. I don't know, I just have it here now because there's nowhere else for it. Then moving on, I will have to sit down. Uh, this is my very, very fancy TV wall. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people ask me why I have no TV bench. Excuse me, this is a bench. It's literally a bench. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna change this out. I actually got this as a joke because TV bench. And also I wanted something that wasn't so conventional looking. But as you can see, cable management is a problem because it is low kong like this, right? I have trouble with the cable. So I tried my very best to actually... See, I have that brick over there. I also got these like cable... What is this called? Cable management stuff to like stick stick here but because the wire is too heavy they just keep falling down now so it's very messy so i may want to change this out sometime in the future but right now I'm poor. things we have on the tv bench hello this random flower pot that now holds my tissue paper um this is a mirror that i made with nayo Tiao and more sps over here my lego yoda random pot with some dried flowers wi-fi and my switch and that's really what my wall looks like. 
So this mirror over here I actually got from Taobao. It's a very nice mirror, but it came uh, cracked. So where the leaves are right now, so if you look at the leaves here, this is my very meek attempt of fixing the cracks. So I just bought a lot of fake plants and tried to mend the mirror myself. So now it kind of, if you don't know the story, it just looks like a very cool, eclectic, vintage mirror. But in actual fact, if you see behind the leaves, right, it cracked already. So I just like try anyhow to stick it back off. But you can't really see if I don't tell you. You think I bought it like this, right? <laughs> but um, it was, uh, I mean, good attempt from me lah. But after a while, it really gets like uh, tan cho. So I may keep it, may not, not sure. May just move it to a different room. Um, but yeah. So this is the other view from inside the mirror of my kitchen. Very cute, very cute. Actually, if I just pan around, that's about it lah. This is my kitchen. This is my living room. Like that lah. So over here, this is the guest bathroom. So let me turn on the lights. So this is the guest bathroom. Um, I got this shower did in as well. So it's one of those that you can open like that. So it looks like a cube just to keep the water in there. Um, toilet. Also got this from Taobao. Very cute, very cute. Um, mirror also from Taobao. Um, this was built in by the ID. Very simple but I really like this grid um, shower glass thingy. And look, this is my mat from Taobao. Over here, um, we have what is supposedly meant to be my office slash studio slash work area. Right now, it's really just a storeroom because we lack storage in this house. Don't look at that side, but we can look over this side. So this is my sort of workstation. Um, my Xiaomi robot lives here for now. Um, yeah, that's really... I'm not going to zoom in because there are a lot of crap everywhere on the table. Can you see my vision? of trying to have everything pink, black, and white. Can you? Can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> Anyways, um, this area is just where I hide slash keep all my boxes because what do you really do with all these um, packaging? Like if I throw it away, it feels like nobody's gonna take it because it's so big. This is actually for the mirror, that mirror, that one. Yep, so the box is just here now because I'm contemplating whether I just wanna chuck it back in the box. Um, behind here is just really more, um, oh this is my green screen, um, more boxes of things. So this room right here is my bedroom but I am not going to show you that. Let me have some privacy. <laughs> Maybe in another video but not today. So that's it for V1 of the house tour. Things will change. Um, I'm getting shelves for this TV wall. I need a lot of storage. I also want to deck out the balcony. Right now it's just empty because when it rains, it floods. So we're getting blinds for that. I hope this um, is satisfactory. <laughs> but really though, entry level, this is just level one. And we only can go up from here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe, like, comment, anything you want to comment. Like if you want to know where I got my fan from, I will tell you in the comments. Till next time, bye bye.